Hello everybody, this is Dr. Liu at the Lee Time. Hibiscus has been used as a folk medicine in many different countries to treat a disease like a liver damage, hypertension, and a digestion system disease. Modern research explores the chemical composition extracted from the hibiscus, including the volatile compounds and the polyphenols. Those chemicals bring the medicinal benefits, including antibacterial, anti-inflammation, and antioxidants. And in today's video, I want to show you a full spectrum extraction of a hibiscus, so you can take a full benefits of this beautiful medicinal herb. Hibiscus contain a two group of uh, functional chemicals. One is a uh, volatile compounds. Those can be extracted by distillation. So they will come up into a essential oil and hydrosol. The other group is a polyphenols like a flavonoids. These are large molecules. They won't be extracted by steam distillation, but uh, they can be extracted by tincture. There is a published study that proved the essential oil extracted from a hibiscus has a strong antibacterial function. They measure uh, six different kinds of uh, bacteria and uh, pathogens. This shows a strong bactericidal behavior compared with other commercial bactericidal chemicals. And another study they measure anti-inflammatory behavior of the hibiscus essential oil. They prove it's a strong anti-inflammatory function based on the cell level study. So this antibacterial and anti-inflammation behavior comes with the essential oil and hydrosol. Anthocyanin is a well-known antioxidant hibiscus as a flavonoids and this chemical can be extracted by tincture. So the first step is a steam distillation by using a lithium KD5 hydrosol distiller. And after that, I will show you the tincture by using the hibiscus after the distillation. I'm using the dry hibiscus flower, the uh, organic level. When you using on the face or especially when you take internally, like making a tincture, you want to use the organic uh, mm, the herb. This is pretty good quality. You see, all of them are like uh, flower petals. I purchased this online. If you want to know about the online vendors of these good quality uh, herbs, uh, you can join Lee Time Facebook uh, group. Uh, I uh, periodically share information. Today I'm using the KD5 uh, hydrosol distiller and so it's pretty easy. Just put a sieve under and I drop the herbs in the cup. You can fill up to the thread that is uh, about two cup size or you can just partially fill it. And there's uh, a top sieve plate. So this top sieve plate will lock the uh, herb in the position. KD5 is a portable distiller. It's uh, easy to operate. It takes less space. And you just add a cold water or you use ice cube to reduce your the frequency to replace the cold water for the condensation. And then the steam will come out from the pot and go through the hibiscus flower and extract those volatile compounds and go into the condenser and back into the liquid. And here we will collect the hydrosol. Two cup size actually, the steamer, a full steamer. It will make uh, two cup of uh, uh, concentrated hydrosol. As usual, I want to show you the color of the hydrosol. It's cloudy. Um, yeah, it's not as cloudy as a uh, lavender hydrosol, it's, but it's cloudy. 
we see from the top you can see that and there also a layer of oil but it's not like uh, as much we can collect it uh, because hibiscus this flower has only a uh, 0.1 percent the oil uh, content so that makes it uh, it's really hard to make uh, oil but uh, people do get uh, extract oil from this uh, cloudy uh, hydrosol This hydrosol has a very strong hibiscus flower odor. It's a lovely uh, smell. Thanks to its antibacterial, anti-inflammatory behavior, so it can work as a facial spray to deep clean the skin. And also, by adding one teaspoon of the hydrosol into a liter of water, it can make your hibiscus uh, drink. This is a good uh, diuretic, uh, effect and also clean up the digestion system so now after distillation don't throw away the hibiscus those are not a waste we can still continue the extraction by doing the tincture with water gun i will show you how to do that i want to show you what it looks like So for doing the tincture, we need a, a jar. Then we add the hibiscus. So you can take a look. It's not a, it's not a very wet actually. Still a little steam in there. It's a red color. This is uh, why people use that as a pigment at the old time and I want to show you so you see actually this is not a very wet it, because when you're doing the steam distillation at the right condition the steam the water will go through it you will not stay on the on the flower on the herb to make a tincture we use a one to one ratio this is a two cup uh, the hibiscus flower and we use vodka uh, vodka actually is perfect even vodka has just uh, 40 percent uh, alcohol this is called a hydro alcohol extraction this is perfect for the anthocyanin because anthocyanin is water soluble So actually you can see right away, even right after I poured in the alcohol and the red color already extracted out into the liquid. The red color is the acetylcyanin, but antioxidants. So through the full spectrum of extraction, we got the clear hydrosol and the red tincture. So they both have their own special medicinal benefits. Hopefully you liked the video, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.